Hey everybody, hey, what's up everybody, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, people, coming to you live, House of X Entertainment presents, it's me, Winston, yes, honey, coming to you now live, what's up Twitter family, what's up YouTube family, what's up Facebook family, and my Instagram peoples, what you guys doing out there, it's me, Winston, yes, honey, it's now live. Hey you guys, welcome back to another amazing Bake With Me guys. So today, we are making Betty Crocker cho- dark chocolate cake, guys. Yes, so before we begin, we're going to wash our hands. Alright. Okay, and we have our bowl here. So, we're going to put the mix this is the mix guys all right this is the mix okay so we're gonna put our mix into the bowl all right shout out to everybody that likes um that likes chocolate cake okay now after we got our mixture in here we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees guys now it also depends on what kind of pan that you're using so if you're using a, a round pan it should only be about 30 to 35 minutes or a square pan i'm using the alumina fold square pan so about the same amount Okay, you're going to need three eggs, all right? So what I normally do is crack them in a bowl just because you don't want the shells. Okay. You want to make sure you don't get no shells in your batter. Okay, and there we go. Those, that's our eggs. And we're going to need one half, a half of a um, cup of cooking oil. Vegetable oil, cooking oil, whatever oil, guys. Okay. Put a little too much. So let's put back some. All right, just a little more. Because you don't want to put too much oil. All right, guys. So that's a half. Okay. There we go. We got our oil. Okay, and now we're going to need a cup and one-fourth of water. So we're going to do one cup of water. All right, so this is a cup of water. And then we're going to do one-fourth of... All right, so here we go. That's one-fourth of water. Okay, now we're going to mix. All right, let's plug this in. Hold on, guys. How's you guys day going? Hope you guys are having a lovely day. Okay, we're going to mix now. No, this is going to okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
sure we get our little spoon here and just try to get the sides guys want to make sure we get the sides okay now what we're going to do is use our non-stick pan and we're going to spray our pan side You want to make sure you spray all around the pan, guys. All around. Okay. All right. So, we're going to put this in here. All right. And we're going to pour. All right. Okay, so that's good. This one is done. This one is done. All right. Let's do the other one. Okay, guys, so our cakes are in the oven. Next time, we'll be back to check them and icing. Okay, guys, so we're back. We're going to check our cake now to see if it's done. Hold on one moment, guys. So what you want to do is you pull your cake out of the, of the oven. And what we're going to do is stick a flat knife in the middle and as you can see there's no batter or anything on our cake so what we're going to do is take them out the oven okay and we're going to turn our oven off all right okay so all right, so the non-stick pan really did work, guys, because if you put enough pan into your um, baking sheet or baking pan, it will basically, your cake won't stick. Mm -hmm. And, you know, these pans are reusable, or you can throw them in the garbage if you like. But now, what we're going to do is we're going to ice it our cake. So we're gonna give it a little couple minutes to cool and we're gonna ice in our cake guys. Okay so I'm using chocolate frosting. Okay. All right so I'm not going to heat this too much, just a little bit. Alright. Just a little bit, guys. I'm not going to heat it too much. Alright. How are you guys doing? Welcome in. Okay, so let's just make sure this gets heated. Once this is 
heat it a little bit, and then we'll put it on top of our chocolate cake. You can also use um, the white frosting as well, you know, but I was going for the dark kind of flavor for this one, guys. So that's what I was going for. Um, and you want to make sure that you gently put it on there because you don't want your cake to fall apart. All right. So you want to make sure that you gently put it on your cake. All right. Gently, yes, gently. So you don't want your cake to fall apart. Right. You can also get a flat knife and it will also help to spread as well. All right. so you want your cake to start falling apart while you're trying to put the ice in. On the cake. So. Alright, so this is what we're doing here. We're just icing the cake. Alright, see, so we have our cake. You want to make sure it's well layered. All right, even if a little piece break off, it's okay. All right, now we're gonna put the other piece on top. Ooh, Jesus. That was a little hot. Okay. You just want to be careful when you're doing it because sometimes the cake can fall apart. Once you got it well layered, even if it fell apart or so forth, you can still cut into it. And there we have it, guys. Double chocolate cake by Betty Crocker, made by Anthony Weinstein. All right, we're just trying to get the rest of this cake mix here. All right. Okay. And we're going to cut into the cake, guys. Hold on one second, but we are 
comment like subscribe and share don't forget to hit that notification bell make sure you tap on all guys remember to pay for those that you see and pray for those that you don't see love you guys what's up twitter family what's up youtube family what's up